Hi friends, this is The Narrow Research and welcome to my new video about Codius project. Codius is an open source platform for smart contracts and decentralized applications hosting. And in today's video I will explain you what Codius is and how it works. Codius project was created in 2013 by Ripple when smart contracts topic was not even a mainstream. But it was freezed in 2015 because there was no demand at that moment and recently when smart contracts became more popular and they found some use cases in our lives, Codius project was revitalized. Despite Codius was created by a private company, it is completely open source project which is available on the GitHub where everyone can contribute, create issues and pull requests. Currently there are two repositories Codius command line interface for developers and Codius D service for Codius hosts. Today in 2018 we have many platforms that are capable to host smart contracts. Even Bitcoin can with its built-in scripting language. Here are some other popular platforms. Cardano, EOS, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Lisk with its JavaScript language, Neo and so on. So, what is interesting in Codius and how it differentiates itself from the other platforms? In order to address this point, I'll use example. Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other blockchain or decentralized consensus ledger by its nature is a database, which major function is to store data. From the non-blockchain world, I'll use Oracle DB which has the same function, store transaction information, but is centralized. This database is a backend part. On the front end side, we have some client software, which users like you and me use to create connection to the database. So, in case of blockchain, it is typically wallet. And this wallet or client software allows you to monitor transactions, create and receive transactions. And many blockchains have their own programming languages, like Solidity, JavaScript, C++, Java, and so on. In the enterprise world, Oracle uses its own PLSQL language. All these languages allow you to create application logic inside of the database. So your code will be, will be compiled and stored in the database. Both enterprise database and distributed consensus ledgers are very complex things. And application logic may be complex as well. So you literally put complex application code inside of the complex database. And this may lead to some problems. The biggest one is scalability. In my professional career I know some companies that created banking software using this approach. They took PLSQL programming language, created application logic, stored in inside of the Oracle database, and also they created some client software that was installed on the user's workstation. And this software allowed to use all the beauty of this application. And everything is fine while things are small. But once transactions volume becomes bigger, it leads to significant performance degradations. And these banks have to spend tons of money on consultants that should optimize PLSQL code and Oracle database to save this application. Similar scene happened in 2017 to Ethereum blockchain, when CryptoKitties popularity led to network congestion. Solution to scalability problem was introduced long time ago and it is called three tiers application model where application logic sits aside from the database and Codius is exactly this application middleware. In case of three tiers model, client does not interact directly with database. All client's requests are sent to application layer and application decides whether to send or retrieve data from the database. And such approach gives a lot of flexibility to application developers. 
Codius allows users to host their application's code and ensures that this code cannot be changed once it is published. But still, it requires some database to store data. This database could be Bitcoin blockchain, Ethereum blockchain, or XRP consensus ledger. Codius allows you to host any application. As a developer, you need only create a Docker container and deploy it to Codius host. In the next video, I'll show you how to do that. Codius host is a nice website that lists Codius server. It shows some statistics like currently active host, new host, currently running smart contracts, total memory, and current fees. And as a developer, when you plan to deploy your code, you may select some specific host from this list or let Codius to do that for you. In this case, some random host will be selected. In the previous video, I showed you how to deploy your own Codius server. Currently, all servers are rented from cloud providers. This may be either bare metal machines or virtual servers. Codius hosting business model is pretty simple. You rent a cloud server from a cloud provider, add some extra value like applications integrity and resell this service to others. But still this model is not profitable because fees that developers pay to Codius hosts are not sufficient to cover cost of running server. There is yet another issue with running Codius host. As a host, you must comply with all regulations in your country and cloud provider's requirements. I said before that you may host any application, and this any application may violate rules, and you may not even notice that. Recently I had such bad experience. I use Google Cloud Platform to run my Codius servers. And Google does not allow to mine cryptocurrency on its servers. Recently I have noticed that one of my hosts has very high resource utilization and decided to check what's running there. And surprise surprise, it was Monero Miner. Of course I stopped it and deleted port. But Google has detected cryptocurrency mining and shut down my server. In general, Codius is a very interesting and powerful platform, but of course it needs to mature. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!